BPA claims, uh, uh, 2010 versus 2009, have gone up by over 250%. A related contaminant called phthalates, the claims related to phthalates, typically BPA-free or phthalate-free, have gone up by over 1,000% one year over the next. In fact, almost 1,300%. That's actually, I mean, I would say that's a good thing because it's the marketplace responding to this concern amongst parents in this case, particularly parents, because these claims are almost all on, on either toys or baby products and most on baby products. Consumers are saying, we don't want BPA in these products. We don't want phthalates. For that matter, we don't want lead and any of the rest of this stuff. Companies are trying to respond and are saying proudly BPA-free. The only problem we're finding is that there's no evidence behind the vast majority. In fact, we didn't find a single toy or baby product that was, that was sin-free in our language. So BPA-free, phthalate-free, good things, good claims, but the manufacturers of these products need to be delivering some evidence to parents who quite rightly would expect to have evidence for something that is so important to the health of their kids.